What's up everybody? This is AJ from Dig Project and I want to welcome you to this class on djembe rhythms. I got three different rhythms for you today. These are rhythms that I play all the time and they're great for drum circles, jamming with friends, collaborating with other musicians, and just playing for your own fun and benefit. On our channel, we've got all sorts of music tutorials, instrument reviews, interviews with artists, and so much more in the realm of world music. So I definitely encourage you, hit subscribe and follow us for all the latest news and updates. So without further ado, here we go. Before we get into the three djembe rhythms, I wanna just tell you about the different terms I'm gonna be using. Basically, there's three different sounds used on djembe. There's the bass sound with the middle of the drum, the tone sound hitting the rim of the drum, and the slap sound, which is a very strong accent on the rim of the drum. So I use that slap as a way to mark like the very strong beat. So again, bass, Most of the rhythms that we're gonna be doing today are hand-to-hand -hand rhythms, meaning you're constantly alternating left, right, left, right. There are a few exceptions, and I'll make sure to point those out when we get there. So the first rhythm, tresillo. It's basically groupings of three, three, and two. So you go bass tone tone, bass tone tone, slap tone. So let me really break that down for you. Bass, tone, tone, I'm gonna start with my left. Bass, tone, tone. And then I start with my right on the next bass, tone, tone. So let's just review those first six beats. Bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, tone. And then the last two beats are slap, tone, meaning I go extra high with this hand, slap it down, and then tone for the last one. Bass, tone, tone, bass, tone, tone, slap. Another way you can do this is bass, tone, tone, slap, tone, 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 tone. So notice how I'm accenting on that slap, which is actually the fourth out of eight beats, or if you were counting it in quarter notes, it would be the and of two. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and So that's tresillo. The main thing to know is that you have groupings of three, three, and two. Bass, tone, tone, slap, tone, 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 tone. Bass, tone, tone, slap, tone, 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 tone. The next beat, we have a hip hop beat, which I love this rhythm because I can just kind of play it. And as soon as people hear it, they jump in with whatever instruments they have. So if you're a djembe player and you're around musicians and you want to start something up, this is a great beat for it. Let's really break this one down. There's mostly tones with five different bass notes scattered out. It's really a 16 beat rhythm. And the way I like to think about it is quarter notes. So each one of four beats broken into four subdivisions. So I have one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, one, two, three, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So when I really slow it down, it's like this. I'm just gonna play it really slow and I'm gonna put the notation right on screen so you can play along. Remember, B is for bass, T is for tone, 
and S is for slap, that extra hard rim sound. So when I'm playing this hip hop rhythm, I'm thinking bass, bass, slap, bass, 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 slap, bass, bass, slap, bass, 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 slap. The thing is, I'm putting all the tones in the middle to fill all the gaps. So if I were to just play it like I just sang. It basically fills in the gaps a lot more if I play all the tones in the middle. So anything I didn't say right there was just a tone standard shot on the rim. So that's the hip hop rhythm. Super great for jamming with other musicians. I'm just going to play it one more time a little faster so that you see how I might jam on it, groove on it with some musicians, although it works perfectly fine at the tempo I was just playing it at. So I threw in some fills there, a little different. If you can figure out the hand movements of the fills that I was actually playing, and you can post that in the comment section below, I'm going to give you an extra bonus free gift just for the first person to do it. Third rhythm. So we're going to talk about a very popular world music rhythm now. It's very simple actually. And I use this a lot. It works kind of with a lot of Latin tunes, a lot of Brazilian music. It almost has an African feel. So do what you want with it. I think it's hard for me to give a name to it. If you know the name of it, let me know. Definitely one that I use all the time. Really simple, here it is. This one also lends itself well to doing a lot of fills. So if I want to put in some variations, I do something like this. So as you saw, it can get very high energy and it basically has just this four on the floor bass sound, which means I'm basically playing every beat on the downbeat on the bass. So my left hand pretty much just staying on the bass note. And then I'm putting in the fill notes, which are all tones, on the off beats basically. I'm going bass. A little faster. now a lot faster. Cool, so again, lots of fills, lots of variations you can do on that one. Just a really simple framework for you to explore. Question of the day. How do you use the djembe? Do you use it for collaboration? Is it your own personal meditative practice? Do you jam at drum circles? Do you bring it to festivals? Tell me what you use this instrument for. I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what people are doing with this instrument, where they're taking it. 
and this helps me know what videos to make next so that I can serve you better. This is the new djembe we've got in the Dig Project store. Super nice wood engraved, got a beautiful leather head, really well woven. It's got a little handle so you can carry it and I'm gonna give you a little demonstration. So again, definitely worth checking out. These little guys, super portable, super easy to travel with, and they fly pretty nicely. All right, so that's three djembe rhythms. Got through it super quick, faster than I thought, and it's been really awesome to share this with you. Again, I'm AJ from Dig Project. I highly suggest you subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We're at Dig Project on both of those platforms. And sign up for our mailing list. We have great offers all the time, and we announce all our new YouTube videos, all our new blog articles, and lots of great content and even events all around the world that we're featuring. It's been great sharing with you, and please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Thanks again so much, and we will see you at the next one. Bye-bye.